After 396 years, the sun has set on the British monarchy's reign over the Caribbean island of Barbados, with a handover ceremony at midnight on Monday marking the birth of the world's newest republic. As the clock struck 12, the royal standard flag representing the Queen was lowered over a crowded Heroes Square in Bridgetown and Carol Roberts Reifer, chief executive officer of the National Cultural Foundation, made the declaration of Barbados transition to its new constitutional status. Guests in the square applauded as Dame Sandra Mason was sworn in as president by the Chief Justice and took the oath of allegiance to her country. Hundreds of people lining Chamberlain Bridge in the capital cheered and a 21-gun salute was fired as the national anthem was played. Barbadian singer Rihanna also attended the ceremony and was declared a national hero. Republic Barbados has set sail on her maiden voyage, Mason said in her inauguration speech as the first president of the country, recognizing the complex, fractured and turbulent world it would need to navigate. Our country must dream big dreams and fight to realize them, the former governor-general told those gathered for the ceremony. A solemn Prince Charles was on hand to witness the transition. The creation of this republic offers a new beginning, he said in a speech to the ceremony. From the darkest days of our past and the appalling atrocity of slavery, which forever stains our history, people of this island forge their path with extraordinary fortitude. Full stop this colonial page, Winston Farrell, a Barbadian poet said in a reading at the ceremony. Some have grown up stupid under the Union Jack, lost in the castle of their skin. It is about us, rising out of the cane fields, reclaiming our history, he said. And all that she mean, put a page in there instead. Announcing the decision to cut ties with the monarchy in 2020, Prime Minister Mia Motley, who led the ceremony said the time had come for Barbados to fully leave our colonial past behind, though some in the country said the moment had been long overdue. It cuts into your dignity as a citizen, Sir Hilary Beckles, the country's most renowned historian and vice-chancellor of the University of the West Indies, said of the ongoing role of the monarchy in the country. It reduces you psychologically in terms of being a citizen of your nation. And then you have public officials who have to swear allegiance to this sovereign who is not a part of their reality. A comprehensive survey of Barbadian attitudes to the royal family, the earlier results of which were shared with The Guardian, suggested that more than 60% of Barbadians were in favor of becoming a republic, half of them enthusiastically, while about 1 in 10 people preferred to keep the status quo. A significant number of persons were not interested one way or the other said Cynthia Bear-Giles, a professor at the University of the West Indies and a lead investigator for the poll, which is yet to be released.